Good afternoon. Jarrett and I are back with the 1968 dump truck that left us sitting in the earlier video, or rather left Jarrett running up the hill. Yeah, the dump truck did that. That's exactly what did that. The driver didn't do that. <laughs> would you rather... <laughs> you already I already said question. I would have rather done that again. <laughs> done it again, <laughs> ran up the hill and declined the ride several times, because don't worry, Matt's going to stop right up there for me. But uh, regardless, we're back, and today we have... A new air filter, new spark plugs, and that's kind of what we're hoping. We also have plugs, or plug wires, but we're really hoping we don't get to that point. <coughs> but we'll see. I mean, it could be something as simple as the distributor needs sanded on the points. We'll see. But I figured spark plugs and... Oh, the distributor looked pretty good last time I cracked into it. We'll see. But we're going to go ahead and hop to, pulling out the plugs, and having a jolly old time. Jolly. So jolly. Okay, so is this? Yep, so it's the bigger one. Okay. Hopefully. I cracked that open right there and it was like spiders. Where? This thing on top of the battery. It was like, oh. it had like the little tunnels. But no. I mean, I don't do spiders. Woo! I was almost out of there. Ugh. Fucking hate spiders. I'll mess with the wasp nest well before I mess with the spider. Are you going to be that dude that takes a wasp nest and eats it? No. I'm not scared of wasps. But I'm also not stupid. Well, that's stupid. Yeah, about to say eh. So here is... Whew. It's not that bad. No, nah, it's not horrible, but... Definitely seen some better days. Don't look close. Just comparison. Old. Old. No. In case you couldn't tell. I mean, this one, whew. This one looks like it's seen war. This uh, whew, hood doesn't exactly allow for comfortable positioning. I did offer to remove it. Yes, you did offer to remove it, but I really don't see the worth in it for the hopefully quick job we're under here for. I shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have fucking said that. I should not have said that. Haggard. Yeah, the front ones are uh, a little gunked up. By a little, I mean a lot gunked up. Oh, that's a workout to stay there. That is a workout. Do we leave, think that was our bad spark plug? Leave the middle ones, just do the front and back. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Once we rebuild the carb, we'll do the... Do the and it, the carb needs rebuild, so. I mean, I got it exposed on that side. It's just, oh, I gotta get the back sides cleaned. If only I had a bidet, it's much easier to clean the back side. Stop. Are you trying to one punch me and me? Oh, oh that does not look good. That yeah, doesn't that. look as bad. That doesn't look as good. Yeah, where's the other one? Oh, you dropped on the ground. Yeah, no, for that. That one looks a little worse for wear. That looks like extra uh, old carbon. It looks like maybe extra fuel. It's not burned off. So maybe it wasn't firing properly. Just to give you an idea of the amount of a uh, crud built up around the top of that nut. <sighs> we'll see how much I knock back in. Let's go ahead and reassemble the uh, plug wires here. I'm also looking, the plug wires look okay. Unlike this, that alternator wire is horrible. I guess just exposed pretty much all the way down the block. <laughs> Fairly certain it's not safe to run in the current setup, but... Sorry, it's not like we have fuel leaking out of our carb. Nah, 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 nah. That's on the other side of the carb. It's not even anywhere close. Whew. Okay. So, for this other side, I'm going to see if I can dig it out from this side, because it looks like it's all jumped up, too. Yeah, it's all jumped up. I want you to show... A little bit of the gunk. Yep. Okay. So just to show you guys, we're looking down in there and you can see like the top of where my socket's gotta get. But man, there's just all this gunk. And ugh. Let me see if I can get some of it out for you. Yeah. I mean just, it's, I guess cause the front's more exposed. It is just packed the front full. This one, uh, 
So we got the next one out here. It is the driver front and I mean, it's not too much of a happy camper for sure, but that's no, okay. Let's just... Wires look good over here too. So I guess that's something. Brake booster kind of helps because it gives me a nice spot to drop my elbow. Jesus, these spark plugs, you think this truck's been sitting for like 10 years. Oh wait, it has, pretty much. Remember when I told you this air filter may be replaced and you're like, no, it's fine. Air filters are good for the life of the vehicle. Okay, so if you're gonna have the air filter on, it needs to be clean. Lifetime. It's good. Look at this and tell me it's not restricting airflow. Tell Charity's being stupid. Tell okay. Me. That is black. How much regret do you have right now? What? Maybe I got it going. I think so. Might just be dirt. Yeah. Did you get it? Uh, I think. Okay, guys, we're in the home stretch of our half ass attempt. If you can't tell, I love the dump truck more every time I have to do this to it. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. If you replace love with kind of regret buying, then yes, definitely. Fuck. Okay, is that gonna fit? Cause that looks a good bit bigger. You passed me just the filter. Thank you. Okay, you can go either way, right? Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah. No. No, I think this is why we didn't put it on originally. Just want to run it without an air filter for now? Might as well, what's the worst that'll happen? I not said that. Yep, okay, so this one's just a little taller, so the stud that sticks up in the center. For this to sit on and then the bolt to screw down to, doesn't fit. So, just to see if the plugs or that were the problem, we'll run it without that totally, which isn't good. We're not gonna take it anywhere, really. Just, I guess, up and down the road real quick. Yeah, probably. To see if it still feels like it's having the problem. Because, what was it? Higher RPM and had problems? Lower RPM. Lower RPM. And then at higher RPM trying to climb a hill, it just killed itself anyways. Yeah. So, it had a problem at all RPMs. And we'll see what we can do. Didn't have that much of a problem at RPMs when you're driving away from it. Oh! GoPro wasn't. Okay, let's try that once more. I don't have brakes. You have brake fluid? Yeah. Turn off the fuel pump. Hey, there's my tool. Found it. <laughs> Bob, fuck you. Bitch, you're gonna brake fluid all over me. Wasn't my fault. It wasn't me. You even caught me on camera. It's really? like you even caught me in the shower. It wasn't me. What?
Or done so. Cut it off. Huh? Said cut it off. All right, let's put the fuel, the air filter on there and see if that does anything. Choke it, son. Let me try it. Look out. Contact. Half choke. Your choke isn't doing anything. Oh, you can't see anything. Hello? My bad viewers from home. What? All right, now try it. I would stop for now. The alternator is smoking. Sorry, starter. So don't turn on the fuel pump. Just try to start it. No gas, anything. Starting it with no fuel pump. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an intro. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's try that again. Welcome to another episode of Love My Truck. <laughs> this truck. <laughs> I can't use that as the intro though, because that's in the first 30 seconds. Anyways, so. Welcome to another episode of Love My Truck. <laughs> my truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, well, regardless, we got these four of the six spark plugs replaced, took off the air filter, got it to start, and then hit the brakes and it died. Probably because we didn't have the it vacuum. It was calling for vacuum. Yeah, it was calling for vacuum because the air filter was off, we didn't have any form of vacuum. From that point, we put the we tried to put the new air filter on. You guys saw it's too tall, doesn't work. Put the old one back on. Can't get it to start, and our starter's starting to smoke. So we're gonna call it a day. Um, I will go out at a later date, pull this uh, air filter, take it to Napa, get a new one, and put it back on the same day. Because, as Jarrett said, if we take that off, then we run the risk of getting water in there and humidity and bugs and just all kinds of nastiness that we don't want to do if we leave it. The longer we leave it, the worse the possibility is. Olds. Olds? Okay. But anyways, it's going to be a short video. I mean, spark plugs, trying to do that. Almost ran Jared over. I think the camera was still running at that point. And then we sprayed Jared with brake fluid. So that's pretty much a brief summary of the uh, too long didn't watch version of this. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hey, I wasn't covered in gas. He wasn't covered in gas. This I think that's the first. This is the first. First time we work on the truck or drive the truck that Jared doesn't end up wearing something flammable. So, Rex Blue's not flammable. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess we'll call that a win. Didn't get it running, but I'll call it a win. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, stay safe. Stay safe. That safe's not fun. It's until safe. next time. Go get laid. Have sex. Get drunk. Fucking do a line of coke. Don't do that. <laughs> That's just what Jarrett does on this typical Saturday. If I did coke, dude, I wouldn't look like this. That's because he can only do it one day a week. Those are rookie numbers. You gotta jack them up. Those are rookie numbers, boy. I do enough jacking. Unless you're big enough for both arms. And <laughs> <are overdeveloped. laughs> oh. oh, my God. Well, do a line of coke.